Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look of the latest build of what will be the Spring Creators Update. Build 17.1.2.3 of Redstone 4 and uh, yep still a watermark on the bottom right and expiration date so we're not there yet. Rumors have it that we will have the build officially by the end of next week. So that's going to be interesting to see. So it rolled out yesterday, Friday, March 16th, and has one new feature, really, and it's the introduction of the uh, Eye Efficiency Image Format, which is a image format to have really high compression, and um, it's basically a new format that uh, maybe, who knows, someday can maybe replace, um, you know, JPEGs and so on. It was introduced, but it's introduced only if you subscribe to the uh, app preview. Uh, remember that Microsoft wanted to have like a insider app preview program. Well, if you go into the photo app and you ask to get the latest preview, you will actually have the um, this new file format for pictures or else it's not included. So, um, you know, and it will be integrated in everything that has, of course, and uses pictures, including the web browser. But apart from that, uh, really nothing new in here. And, um, I mean, the install went well for me. I had no issues. Um, not really anything of, uh, you know, it, it was the same install time, about, you know, three hours more or less on this build again and um, it seems to have been uh, installing flawlessly. Uh, basically what we have here is very close to what we will have as uh, we get to the Spring Creators update. It works, like I said, like a charm and um, you know last build 17.1.2.0 a lot of people commented how, how they, it, it worked well for them. Almost everybody agreed that it actually worked fine so I guess we're really really close they fixed a few bugs, including one that would make a bug check, apparently, for some people. So um, they kind of fixed that. Mixed reality is still broken, so that's what they kind of tell us that, you know, if you are in the mixed reality stuff, it's still not working. And I have the impression that, you know, they'll push the official release with that still broken, but they'll fix it with a cumulative update or something. Um, you know, it... We are there and we are getting close. It's going to be interesting as soon as, you know, I think the watermark will be gone from this, um, from the, from the builds. I will be, of course, um, reviewing the um, version of Windows and, of course, uh, giving all the details of all the new features, including timeline, fluent design and, uh, you know, improvements in Edge. And uh, Overall, there's a lot of little changes in here, but um, for the average, for the most users, it's still going to be, well, I don't get it. I don't see why it took so long because I don't see any differences. And, you know, that's been the case for the past few uh, versions of Windows 10. And I think uh, it will still be the case here for most people. No, really nothing to see uh, much. So as we are heading towards what possibly could be the last week of, of, of the builds before we get the official thing, um, I don't know, we're getting there and it's getting there fast. And of course, release for everybody in April, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.